The event we had this morning was the reveal of the first images from the Vera C. Rubin Observatory. This is an observatory that houses the largest ever digital camera. It's a 3.2 gigapixel camera. And using this camera and the telescope system, we are gonna observe the entire southern sky roughly every three nights for about 10 years. Every image that we take will allow us to look a little bit deeper and to see how things in the night sky are changing. This is many orders of magnitude beyond what we've been able to achieve so far. If we take an image of a spot on the sky and then we come back every three days and we do that for 10 years, we're basically building up a video of those objects. Seeing everything in the night sky that changed from asteroids to moving stars to things that get brighter and fainter to supernova that are you know, 13 billion light years away. The power of Rubin comes from the size of the image that it's able to take. You need 400 Ultra HD TVs just to see one image. So when you're looking at these images that are being shown, those are just like a small fraction of one image. Super cool, we're like moving beyond what us as humans can actually process. My first reaction was just excitement, just amazed by the, by the scale of these images and the details you could see my research really works on trying to really understand the stars in the Milky Way and uh, how those stars if, uh, tell us about the structure of dark matter. Hopefully in 10 years, we'll tell you where exactly the dark matter is in the Milky Way. Stanford and Slack and KaiPak have really been, uh, in some sense, the birthplace of what made Ruben LSST a reality. That partnership really enables us to do things that we couldn't achieve otherwise, really to bring the intellectual breadth and interdisciplinarity, the students and postdocs, faculty that we have at Stanford, to the technical expertise of the lab and you know the ability to really do big things like build a big camera, process 20 terabytes of data a night. I'm very much looking forward to the new types of science that we'll be able to do with these new advancements. We'll be able to answer questions we previously didn't think to pose. Seeing the images today, the thing I'm most excited about is like things I haven't even thought of yet. 